always, always put this ferro rod somewhere safe. As soon as you're done using it, put it in my pocket. All right, guys, so we got a fire now. But one of the biggest mistakes I see people make, especially on YouTube, is uh, they don't think about next fire mentality. And a next fire mentality could save your life, especially in a cold, wet situation where it's hard to get a fire going and it's hard to find the tinder that's dry to get this fire going. So what I'm gonna talk about is char cloth. So I've got this tin, Altoid tin, any tin works. Um, I've got this tin. We can use this to make our next, uh, to keep our next fire mentality going. So what you do is you take your knife, pop a little bit of, a little hole. So I'm gonna set this down on the ground so it's a little bit safer, because we're in a survival situation. So you don't need to be hurting yourself way out there. So I'm gonna take this knife, pop a little hole in it, okay? Then, you take this piece of white shirt here, and you don't want to take much because that's your clothing, but I'm going to take a part just from the bottom here, just like that, a little piece of cloth. You can use rope, you can use natural things out here, but I'm going to use my shirt for an example. So you got this, put it in there. Close that up, and that's going to go right in these flames, right in the coals here. So I'm adjust my fire a little bit, just like that. Yeah, you know, sometimes we get so, you know, out in a survival situation, our minds start thinking about everything except for what it needs to think about. And one of the most important things to think about is our fire tomorrow. And if we've already got a fire going now, we might as well make sure we're able to have that same fire tomorrow. And one of the best ways to do that that I've found is uh, with a, a char cloth. Next fire mentality could save your life. Another thing that you can do to prep for tomorrow's fire besides making char cloth, is getting kindling ready and putting it somewhere safe and dry where you know it'll be dry in the morning. And so I like to make a whole bunch of these little feather sticks. They're small. I can put them in my pocket. Um, I can wrap them in a sock or something and put them in my shelter so that way they stay as dry as possible. And um, that's gonna make it easier for our next fire. Well, our tin is done. Let's see what it looks like. There's our char cloth. Okay, let's see how it works. Let's test her out. So we're just gonna take this char cloth here and I'm gonna put it right down in there. That way I can blow it into a flame. There we go. It's already taken an ember. It's already smoldering right there. Here we go, guys. Nice thing about char cloth is it holds that heat, gives you a little bit longer time to blow it into a, a fire. See, I don't have that fine of materials either. I just have these small little uh, feather from feather sticks that I made. And uh, with that, with that we have our next day fire uh, because we were smart, we're prepared, and uh, we're able to stay warm continuously. All right, well, thanks for joining me on this adventure. And we'll catch you again next time. This is Bigfoot, out.